Hey Aries, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today so we're going to do your end of May general love reading. Now, keep in mind these are general readings, which means they can't possibly apply to every single person watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all the information is down in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, come on, welcome in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. For all of the new viewers, I'm an intuitive tarot card reader, which means I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I charge both of my decks on top of Crystal Organite Puffs, and doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for your reading. And then I also meditate over just specifically the energy of the Aries, the collective energy of the Aries. I don't have the cards today because I'm trying to, I'm going to try something new, because either way it goes, I can channel the energy, but so I won't have the cards to hold up today. But I just want to show you, and I hope everyone's doing well. I'm just running my mouth talking. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, there are absolutely no reversals in either one of these decks. So if we get any reversals, I'm going to accept them and read them. Hmm. This is the second time I've seen this Nine of Pentacles. I'm going to tell you what that means. You know, I'm going to accept them and read them because, I'm, because I know they're aligned with the messages that I'm meant to give you guys. So what I picked up when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was When I Was Your Man. By Bruno Mars. I'm gonna leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it because I know for a fact, especially with seeing this card right here, hmm, this is a single woman, single man card that is gonna be aligned with the message for you guys today. So what I picked up, right, was that um, some of you guys may have had a separation from a Leo specifically, and if they're not Leo Sun, very strong Leo placements in their chart. When I say that, it's Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because this is for love, right? So any of those four positions, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo placements. And then also for some of you guys, Earth Sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Some of you guys, and this is definitely such a card, right? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And then at the bottom of this deck, more earthy energy. There was an imbalance between you and this individual. And you had to become single because of it. But if you notice in this card, the Nine of Pentacles, her head is slightly towards the, the you know, the position of this um, Six of Pentacles. She's looking slightly in that direction. And it's giving me a, the energy that, like I picked up earlier when I was doing the shuffling, a lot of you guys didn't want to have to cut this person off. But for some of you, it was like a cheating scenario. But I'm not picking up the heaviest. The heaviest that I'm picking up is that a lot of you guys felt like this individual was not showing you the love that you wanted. You know, they just weren't sentimental. They weren't emotionally available. And I feel like this person is realizing that now that you're gone, because you definitely left. And even though I feel like, you know, some of you guys were dealing with an earth sign individual, I feel like, you know, it's, you're, this is still your energy. is still coming up as your energy because this person does not want to cut ties with you. So their energy is still in your energy field. But um, I strongly feel like this person is now really regretting allowing you to get out of their grasp. You know what I mean? Because clear as day, what I picked up literally is that this person is now thinking, now they're reminiscing and thinking about what it was that they could have done differently. And, and they're, you have some reconciliations. For some of you guys, this person is going to come back. Now, keep in mind, I told you guys earlier this week that we are currently in Venus retrograde, which started May 13th to June 25th. So during this time, anything with retrogrades, there's going to be a, a resurfacing. You're going to have cycles of people coming back in your life that you felt like you would never, con you know, connect with again and vice versa. You might be reaching out to people and then you definitely have some people who are going to be reaching out to you. I know that because in your, clear, in your main deck, I've seen a judgment card multiple times. That judgment card is about reconciliation and things coming back to life. So let's see what we get for you guys today. So again, like I said, at the bottom of the deck, you had a six of pentacles. Things were not balanced with this individual, but this individual wants things to become balanced again. They want to resolve whatever it was to separate the two of you guys. I'm going to hold it down this way and let's get additional messages. Hmm. Absolutely, because now you had it. Absolutely. You have the king of um, cups. And then I just say, I literally just said that emotionally, this person may not have been as sentimental. They may not have been as emotionally vulnerable. And a lot of you guys were like, you know, I want something else. I want someone who's going to be emotionally connected to me and this person was kind of hard to penetrate like you knew that they cared about you but they had a difficult time expressing it and i want to tell you again like i said the name of the song is when i was your man by bruno mars and look at this the king of cups is the king of emotions coming up right this is definitely someone who's finally found their emotional footing look at his feet as we as i say that you know he's becoming grounded emotionally this individual is aware that they lost you because of their own reasons look at that and then now you have the King of Pentacles. And yeah, and I, I just said a lot of you guys, it's an earth sign. And I feel like this is the same person. This earth sign individual is looking at this King of Pentacles. I mean, the King of Cups. 
because now they're realizing now they are realizing that what they've done this is a person who's reflecting you have two kings here this is their energy you have a person who's now reflecting on their behavior and they're realizing that they did they are the reason that there was a breakup between the two of you all and i feel like they're definitely yep this person wants to come in but if you look at it the chairs even his, look at his legs is facing that king of cups but then his head is looking in a different direction like he this person just like i said this person is emotionally stubborn and they don't like being vulnerable the king of cups is very vulnerable and very open with their emotions but you see how I like the fact that his even his legs are facing this direction. Like his body is facing the direction of being more emotionally vulnerable. But then he's kind of fighting it a little bit. He or she, this individual is kind of fighting it a little bit. Nonetheless, you're going to get some type of um, communication from this individual. This individual is going to come back and try to communicate with you. So let's get two cards. One is going to be a general energy and a second. Absolutely. Two cards. One is going to be a general energy and one is going to be a possible outcome. And then we'll get clarifiers for both. For both. Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles upright is being left out in the cold, feeling abandoned. Again, Pentacles, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This person wants to come out of feeling left out in the cold, feeling like, you know, feeling abandoned. And for, I'm hearing also somebody feels like they lost their family. So for some of you guys, you have children with an individual who has a strong fire sign energy. I mean, I'm sorry, Earth sign. And then if you look at it right next to this, huh, this is crazy. You got the Nine of Wands, right? This is you guys' energy in reverse. You guys felt like you had to let go of this individual because they were a burden. And this ties in perfectly. You feel like you had to let go of this individual because it was a burden. Whether or not you have family with this individual or you had children or they had children, somehow it came together to form a bond like a family. But some of you all felt like, you know what, this is enough. I'm literally on my last knee in this situation. I'm really picking up a strong energy of not feeling fulfilled emotionally for a lot of you all. And for some people, you, they may think like, you know, that's not enough to leave someone for. But if you don't really feel the love, then yeah. Then you got three of pentacles. Now, I want you to pay attention to this. You got three of pentacles here. And then you got these one, two, three pentacles that are illuminated in this little light. So this for me could be, you know, three of pentacles is about building and working together. Because this person definitely wants to come back and work with you. They want to come back, even if you're dealing with a fire sign, because I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's a fire sign too. They can have strong earth sign placements in their chart. But I feel like this person wants to come back and work things out so they can, you know, reconnect with this family unit. And then also, because, I, you know, we can't deny it yet, that one, two, three lights glowed up, and then you have the three pinnacles right here. It could really be that there was some potential third-party situation, possibly. But I'm not picking that up for the bulk of you all. I'm feeling like this person just wants to come back. And reclaim. I'm hearing they want to reclaim their family. Yeah. Because now we have three of pentacles in, a, in reverse at the bottom of the deck. And that's not working together. Not building a foundation together. Because the three of pentacles is definitely building a foundation. So let's get two cards for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Visuals. Look at that. They don't even want to go in. Two cards. One is the general energy. And then the second is the possible outcome. Look at that. Absolutely. You have a high priestess, and it came upside down in reverse. Now, I'm going to tell you, the high priestess upright is the card of Taurus, also Aries and Libra. Because Taurus and Libra are ruled by Venus, and this is a card of Venus. But there's also an Aries energy attached to this, okay? And I said there was a fire sign, so Aries could be very um, influential to the situation, too. So far, Leo and Aries energy. But also, you know, and this is a reading for Aries, so this could affect you very strongly on a personal level. But again, that Taurus, and that's that earth sign energy that I kept saying that we've seen. Now, I always tell you guys, whenever I see empress or emperor, their counterpart is not too far behind. That's a divine union. This is a marriage. This is a spouse. This is a partnership. And for it to come up in reverse, some of you guys could have been married to this individual, engaged, or talking about marriage. Or you could have been with them long for over seven years. I'm here, I'm, I'm here now over seven years for some of you guys, five for some. But I just heard mainly seven years. Some of you guys could be with this individual for a long extended period of time, but then you felt like they weren't making this commitment. And I'm also here right now, as we see this in her hand, some of you guys feel like this relationship came has come full circle. Some of you guys seen this person as your love interest that you will move forward with in long-term companionship and marriage. But then, you know, you had to let that person go. Because remember, keep in mind, we just seen that nine of um, wands earlier in the pre-shuffle. So some of you have decided to cut your losses and move away from this individual and you know and this is major arcana so this was a situation that it was heavy for a lot of you guys it was heavy it was difficult yeah look at that at the bottom of the deck you got six of swords moving away 
Absolutely. What's this peeking up? Yep. Ace of Pentacles, but this person is going to come back. Especially if it's, a, if it's an earth sign, this individual is going to come back. Because, you know, we got earth sign energy here, Taurus, and then we just seen Ace of Pentacles. Absolutely. This person is going to come back. And there are reversals in this deck currently. So it, for it to come up right, this person is going to come back wanting that solid foundation, wanting that married life. They're going to come in. I feel like it's going to be sincere. I feel like this person has had more than enough time to reevaluate. Look at that. <laughs> so you, you have the chariot moving forward. Absolutely. So your first two cards, look at that. And right up under the two of pentacles, that pinnacle energy again. So you for your main energies, right, you have the high priest. I'm, I'm saying the high priestess. I wouldn't be surprised if we've seen that come out, right? High priestess, that's about the intuition. I feel like for some of you guys, you are literally feeling. You can feel and sense that this individual is going to come back. Also, the high priestess is the card of Pisces. So somebody could have some Pisces placements in their chart. I feel like it could be a lot of you guys, the Aries, could have high priestess, high priestess um, placements in their chart, Pisces, right? So your main energy is, I want to make sure I say it right, <laughs> the Empress in reverse, right? And then right next to it, you have the chariot. And look at it. You see the chariot, the lady in the chariot, she's looking in the direction of the Empress in reverse. But I feel like strongly, this this is your love interest. This individual is coming back. Again, This is both of these are major icons. So I said, this is going to be major for you all. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, this is somebody who's moving forward with vigor, with tenacity. They know for certain what it is they want. Also, this is the card of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I have to put that out there because I know a lot of people like to hear the placements. This person is coming back towards you, absolutely, because you see how she's looking in the direction of this empress. Like, I'm coming back from my, from my boo. This is what, that's, that's exactly the energy I'm picking up from that. That person's like, I'm coming back from my boo. I'm going to turn you right side up because I don't want you in reverse. They don't want you to be single. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is always my single woman, single man card. This is someone who is getting comfortable in their singlehood. Finances are stable. Health is stable. And they're just seeing an overall brighter outlook in life. I always say that with that yellow background. Anything with that yellow in it is vitality. Seeing a brighter day. And this individual absolutely does not want you to move on without them. They're moving towards you. And I, and I said someone is coming back for you guys. Most definitely. Let's hold the deck down and get additional messages. Yep. What I say? And more pentacles. More pentacles. What's up under here? Because I see something peeking. Yep. This person wants victory with you. Look at that. Six of Wands is the card of victory. I see that seven. Look at that. They're trying to manifest it right up under that. The Magician, again, Earth Sign Virgo. This person is trying to manifest a new beginning with you. And they want victory in this situation. At the bottom of the deck, now that we did the shuffling, you know, the parting, we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is literally, this person is talking there. They, they want to talk to you about coming back home. I always say in a specific card, even if the two of you didn't live together before, a lot of you all, I feel like that was the case. Even if the two of you weren't living together, they're talking to you about wanting to move forward into buying a home or, you know, living together. And I know that's the case because I always say with this card, you see how this house, this house is upside down. It's hidden in between this arch, around this arch. It's, this house is upside down, which means the whole... You know, the whole everything turned upside down when you cut ties with them. For some of you, this individual cut ties with you. But I'm feeling like for the bulk of the areas that I'm reading for, you cut ties with this individual because you're like, enough is enough. I need something that's going to be emotionally satisfying, and I'm not getting that from you. So let's part the deck so that we can do some shuffling. Yep. Ooh, look at that. And then you got the hair font. And remember earlier I said there could possibly be third-party situation. You got one, two, three right here. But more than anything, I, I don't feel like that's the strongest energy. I feel like for some of you guys now that I'm seeing the Empress and then we're seeing the Chariot. And now we're seeing the Hierophant. And then before that, we've seen the Ten of Pentacles. You know, what I'm picking up is that somebody may have wanted marriage and they wanted to move forward. But this partner and this love interest was not on the same wavelength as you. But I feel like what I was seeing at Three of Pentacles earlier, that somebody's definitely changing their mind and they're getting ready to move forward. Because now I'm hearing the Bruno Mars song again, if I was your man, like when I was your man, this person, and it could be a woman too, you would know how to apply the situation. But I feel like this person at the time may have felt like I'm not ready to get married, I'm not ready for something, you know, so, I don't want to say stable, something more concrete, like this written in stone, like it's etched in stone that we're going to get married. Somebody was fearful of a long-term commitment even if you have been with them for a long time it was some it was some fear of long-term commitment and contracts like they feel like contracts yeah mm. and it's and, okay and i'm picking up a message now look at that somebody felt like marriage would mean that they're under lock and key you see those two keys there and somebody was fearing that 
they don't they didn't like the sound of being under lock and key absolutely and then look at that he has a big whatever this is but it looks like one of those it's like some type of staff or whatever but it kind of looks like those old-fashioned keys and then also the hair find is somebody who's presiding over a ceremony this is also again card of taurus then you have this card right here more pinnacles taurus virgo capricorn someone rising venus so for a lot of you guys it's definitely an energy of our earth sign and i'm going to tell you what i'm picking up from this because you guys if you <laughs> If you watch my channel, you know I don't, you know I don't sugarcoat it with stuff. I feel like this person is definitely coming back, and they're they're sincere. They're they're genuinely sincere. You have all this major arcana. Look at this. You have the Empress. You have the Chariot, the Hierophant, and then you have the Wheel of Fortune. Fortune is turning in you guys' favor. There's good luck and in, in, in favor for, you know, the individuals that that this applies to. If you are thinking about reconciling with this individual, if this doesn't apply to you, then it doesn't apply to you. But I'm gonna tell you right now with the Wheel of Fortune. That's things turning up right in your favor because, again, there are reversals in this deck. But now you have this upright. I feel like right now this is in reverse because the Empress is in reverse. And that's because somebody is still unhappy with the way things ended and that, you know, it had to end in the first place. But that Wheel of Fortune just confirmed for me, like I said, for a lot of you guys, it's going to be positive if you move forward with this individual. i just seen the Strength card also. And right now, somebody, I feel like this individual feels like they won't be able to get you back. So let's get a clarifier for the Empress card in reverse. Let's get a clarifier for the, okay, look at this. Ace of Swords. So right now, I feel like a lot of you guys are not talking to this individual. Because I always tell you guys when the sword is up, that's yes. When the sword is down, it's nope. So I feel like a lot of you all are not speaking to this individual right now because you felt like, you know, again, like I said, this was your last go round end of the cycle for some of you guys. And you're like, you know, what's the point in connecting with this individual? What's the point in talking to this individual? When they're not going to give me what I want. And also keep in mind, you know, more, most air signs always get the reputation of being non-emotional. So you're not showing this person emotional emotions either. Right? And then keep in mind, like I said, we are in um, Venus retrograde. And Venus retrograde is currently in a sign of Gemini. This is a card of Gemini, also air sign. So I feel like during this time, a lot of you guys may decide not to speak to this individual during this um, retrograde. Yeah. At the bottom of the deck, you had a two of swords in reverse. So I feel like a lot of you guys, right, this is about somebody needing to make a decision in reverse. It's like this person has made a decision that I'm not going to communicate with this individual. Because you, for a lot of you all, you're like, okay, I've given you a lot of years of my life, a lot of my time, and you're, you're not in compliance with what it is that I want. I just seen the high priestess. I told you guys, I, I felt high priestess vibes, and it was in reverse. Just seen the high priestess, absolutely, look at that. So you got the ten of cups in reverse, clarifying the chariot. And then right up here, you have the death card that came right up under the Ten of Cups in reverse. The death card upright is about death and transformation, death and rebirth, the ending of one cycle, beginning of another. And it's coming up in reverse. It's also the card of Scorpio. And then you have the Nine of Cups in reverse. That's Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And then you have the Chariot. That's card of Cancer. So for some of you guys, you can have air, water replacements in your chart, or this individual can also. Right, but I'm gonna tell you with the chariot being clarified by the nine of cups in reverse, like that, that takes me right back to this ace of swords in reverse. Right, I feel like for some of you guys, this person is gonna come in very quickly and they're gonna be telling you that they want to move forward with you, but a lot of you guys may turn them down because you feel like I've given you more than enough, I've given you more than enough chances, I've given you more than enough opportunities, and you, you know, you showed me over and over again that you weren't ready for what I was ready for. And a lot of you guys were ready for long-term commitment, but they were they weren't giving you that. So a lot of you all, a lot of y'all will be turning this individual down. But I'm gonna have to say this again. I'm gonna be quite honest with you. I feel like if this individual comes back, they I really do feel like they have learned their lesson. I don't feel I don't feel any trickery with this situation. I, I definitely feel like this person is gonna come back and they're they really want some type of um reconciliation with you, but then you have the death card in reverse. And again, I'm gonna say I don't feel like this is that this person hasn't changed because this could say that this person hasn't changed coming up right up under that 10 of cup. I mean, um, yeah, the nine of cups in reverse. I feel like this is more so anything. You don't feel like this individual has changed. If you have worry sign placements in your chart, I feel like it's you who feels like this individual hasn't changed. Cause remember we seen that King of cups in the beginning. And then we also seen the um, King of pentacles and you see how the King of pentacles was slight. His body was slightly towards the king of cups 
but he was looking in a different direction. And I feel like this person is stubborn and you know this person is stubborn. So you really feel like they're not going to change. But I'm telling you what I'm picking up for a lot of you guys is that this individual has changed. Look at that. And you see, I didn't have the cards in my hand. The Fool card, absolutely. Again, this is the card of Aries. The Fool card is the card of Aries, Summer Rising Venus. Now, this is taking a leap of faith. So some of you all will take a leap of faith and move towards this person again. And then some of you guys will take a leap of faith and decide to move on to something new. But this came up right. And, and again, that's confirmation for me, literally, that this person, I feel like this person is being truthful and they really want you know, to move forward. But I feel like in your mind, you feel like this person is not going to change. What's this poking up? I'm nosing. Yeah. A lot of you guys in your head, absolutely confirmation. A lot of you guys in your head, you don't feel like this person is going to change. And these are self-imposed thoughts. You are keeping yourself bound in this situation. A lot of you all feel like this person is not going to change, but I'm telling you when I'm picking up, this individual can change. This separation between you two has really made this person think multiple times and think twice about what it is that causes separation in the first place. Also, that Eight of Swords could be them having sleepless nights feeling like, you know, you won't accept them. Like you won't, you know, you won't even speak to them. So that's what I'm getting for you guys today, okay? So Aries, Summer, Rising, Venus, individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care. Bye.